The debut date, August 1. The show, Speak Up America. The stars, co-host, Marjo Gortner and Jane Kennedy. Welcome, and let's tell about the show. Well, I want to hear about Speak Up America for 1980. Well, it's just a show that gives people a podium to speak up about any issue or anything they want to speak up about. Uh, it comes at a time in the country where a lot of people are a little down, a little perplexed. They feel they haven't had a chance to react to a lot of things that are going on. And it's really the first network television show to let people respond to experts. It's a show where we listen to the experts, uh, to, the, to the people talk about the experts and their opinions and speak up. Jane, what do you like best about the program? Well, I like it. It's a I've always been the type of person that uh, I'll sit in a room and I like to listen to people. I like to get input from other people, you know. I don't really go out and say, well, this is what I believe and, you know, you completely dominate the subject and mm -hmm. dominate the room, the party, or wherever you uh -huh. are. And so this gives me the opportunity to talk to people the way that I normally do in life because I'll pull a little bit from you here, you know, and then I'll go somewhere else and talk to someone else about it. And um, I think that all of America likes to hear that, and especially since it's more or less the man on the street. You can relate to this person because you can say, well, he works, you know, same place I work. Mm -hmm. So if he can say that, you know, then I can say and have my own opinions, and that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm wrong. Just because an expert gets on television and tells you, well, this is the way it should be done, then you don't feel like you can believe him all the time because you know that that's his job. Whereas if you're just a person off the street and you're saying, this is what I believe, that's healthy for America. It makes a, a good, strong body of people. Well said. Uh, how do we pick the subjects for the show? Well, they're basically uh, mostly front page news stories, things that are happening now, things that are of concern, whether they be political, human interest, or uh, health, education, and welfare. Tell us know. a couple you're working on. Uh, well, uh, one piece that we're going to have that I'm excited about is going to be about nuclear waste. Uh, which is a, a powder keg that we're sitting on today and people don't even realize it's going to be a story that I think after we break it is going to be one of the big controversial issues in the country because there's a lot of material that we're going to come out with that has never been uh, said before. Marjorie, that's a very serious subject. I, my stereotype of Speak Up America is lighter than that. Uh, well, there's going, going to be very well. light ones too. Uh -huh. I mean, there's yeah, a piece on both. Sido the Dog, uh, with Madeline Murray O'Hare I did in Her Son uh, talking about uh, religion and the son has become a born again uh, and what people think about her having prayers band in school, a piece on that. There's a, a piece about a gun school down in Arizona where they train people how to kill and shoot and what people think about that. Uh, you know, it's a broad spectrum from human interest to some very light little funny things. And then there are some things that we're concerned about. And uh, it's great to get people to see something like this in prime time as opposed oh, to just yeah, watching sure. a mindless little, I don't want to knock any shows, but <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, a regular sitcom or uh, some little sure. thing. No, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It's, uh, I mean, it's people need yeah. to... Uh, really speak up and uh, when you watch tell the average person watches television 90 hours or so a week uh, they can put in one or two hours to like learning something or voicing their opinion about something that should be talked about well i can really feel the enthusiasm that both of you have both of you have something else a lot of experience and jane uh, central illinois viewers know you from the nfl today and and dramatic acting uh you've done it all i like having a well-rounded career um it gets a little hectic at times, but I enjoy it. You know, I'll still be doing the sports show this fall, and um, Speak Up America is something that I think I can learn a great deal from, and I'm looking forward to that, too. And you'll bring a great deal. And you, evangelism has been a, a hallmark with your life so far. Yes, that's true. Uh, I think our viewers uh, are interested in just a bit of that and, and uh, how that evolved. Well, I did it for about 20 years of my life, and I gave it up because I didn't want to go telling people that they were going to burn in hell and preach about fire and brimstone for the rest of my life because I basically believe that a person should find God at the level that he exists for them as a human being. And uh, so I moved over into show business, which I find very close to religion okay. because uh, only I don't have to tell people to believe in something. I'm not passing the collection place. I'm being paid in advance. You bet. <laughs> We wish you just a great deal of success, and our reaction to the early shows sounds like it's going to be a big hit in our part of the country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The show is Speak Up America. It starts August 1, and watch it right here on NBC.